My name is Joshua Cunningham. I am at Groban Gallery with my latest show, Further In, which will be available on view through January 8th. We're going to talk about this painting here. I painted it on location over multiple visits. Um, the challenge of multiple visits is no day repeats itself, but the opportunity is no day repeats itself. So you get to see a wider expression of what happens, and even just getting a sense of understanding the place. What happens when a cloud passes? I mean, in your head, you know it's going to change, but when you see, it's like someone turns the lights off on the trees, and then when it comes back, you notice it all the more brighter. And the golden hour, this is late October, the golden hour is so lovely and rich, this shadow starts at like 2.30 in the afternoon. And so I love the slope of the hill tapering, the creek, the cattle paths that follow the creek, this grouping of willows, the painting is called a crescendo of willows. Everything's kind of coming to this point and then going up, and then the leaves are letting go. And this is a distant hill behind it with oaks, and the cows would come and go as I was going. They would stop, pause, check me out, and move at me. Sometimes I would, I like to sing to cows. That's a little planner painting thing nobody knows about, but it, it unwinds you and they stare at you and it is great fun. Sometimes they start to gather and you have an audience. And so finding all of the things that are out there, the way this branch fell and then it gets pushed around by the cows and it points us back in and the creek leads us back through. And to think like this little rill of water carved out all of this over time. And then the standing of the corn and what happens is the shadow of this hill falls across the corn back here. And it, a shadow like that will also then hold the blue of the sky in it. And so you get these beautiful violets in unexpected places. And then as the sun filters through the cornfield over here, it's richer and warmer. And you're just working on all of these things and trying to keep them. And because it's a larger painting, it's two feet tall and three feet wide, you're going quickly the whole time. And it's so deliberate. And it's harder because it's bigger, so you have to mix up piles a bigger paint, you want those to be accurate so you don't have as much time to guess. But the part where it's easier is that you're not making the world smaller. You're almost making it almost as a one-for-one -one correspondence to what you're seeing. And in the bigness of things, there's places to explore the way the, sh the sun catches parts of a dead tree or a dead part of a living tree where it glares off other parts that are holding the shadow. The way, you know, just a light mark at the end can have those you know, beyond tertiary branches extending up and it connects and breaks and resorts. Nature is always composing itself and sometimes it's just a matter of standing in the right place.